In this video, we're going to talk about Chebyshev's theorem and how we can apply it to solve a problem like the one we have on the board. Chebyshev's theorem gives you the minimum proportion of data that is within k standard deviations of the mean. And to calculate that proportion, you could use this formula, 1 over 1 minus k squared, and k has to be greater than 1. Now let's analyze two different distributions. On the left, what we have here is a normal distribution. And on the right, an unusual distribution. Chebyshev's theorem works for any type of distribution. It's an inequality. It gives you the minimum amount of proportion or the minimum proportion of data that is within k standard deviations of the mean. So it doesn't give you the exact answer, but it gives you a range of answers. So let's say this is the mean, and this is one standard deviation from the mean. And we'll say this is two standard deviations, and then three standard deviations from the mean. Now you could use the empirical formula to calculate the proportion of data that is within one standard deviation of the mean. And that is 68%. Now, within two standard deviations of the mean, if you have a standard normal distribution, it's 95%. And within three standard deviations of the mean, it's 99.7%. For the distribution on the right, let's use Chebyshev's theorem. Let's say this is the mean. Now you can't use it where k is equal to 1, so we're going to start with two standard deviations. So using this formula, if we plug in 2 for k, it's going to be 1 minus 1 over 2 squared. 2 squared is 4. So we get 1 minus 1 over 4. And 1, you can write that as 4 over 4. So this is equal to 3 over 4, or 0.75. So what this means is that 75% of the data, at least 75% of the data, of the data lies between two standard deviations of the mean. Whereas for a normal distribution using the empirical rule, 95% of the data lies within two standard deviations of the mean. So I kind of want you to compare these two distributions in terms of how you can calculate the percentage of the distribution values that lie within a certain number of standard deviations of the mean. Now let's see what the situation is if k is equal to 3. So this is going to be 1 over 3 squared, which is 1 over 9. And 9 over 9 minus 1 over 9, that's 8 over 9. 8 over 9 as a decimal is 0.8 repeated, or if you round it, 0.889. So this means that within three standard deviations of the mean, at least... 88.9% of the data is within this range. Whereas for a standard normal distribution, using the empirical rule, 99.9% .9 of the data is within three standard deviations of the mean. If you want to find out how much is within four standard deviations of the mean, you just replace k with four. So it's one over it's one minus one over four squared which is 1 over, I mean 1 minus 1 over 16, so that's 15 over 16, which is 0.9375. So at least 93.75% of the data would lie between four standard deviations. So the actual number can be higher, but this is the, the minimum value. 
So now let's work on the problem at hand. The average weight of individuals in city XYZ is 170 pounds with a standard deviation of 10. What is the minimum percentage of individuals with a weight between 145 pounds and 195 pounds in this city? So we don't know what type of distribution that we have, so we're going to assume that it's a non-standard distribution. So let's just draw a generic shape. Now we know that the average weight, or we'll say the mean, is 170 pounds. And we know the standard deviation is 10. Now we want to determine the percentage of individuals, the minimum percentage between 145 pounds and 195 pounds. So basically, we want to get the minimum area of the curve in this region. Now it's important to understand that this is the mean mu and this is mu plus k times the standard deviation and this is mu minus k times the standard deviation. And notice that the upper range is 25 pounds from the mean and the lower range is also 25 pounds. 170 minus 145 is 25 and 195 minus 170 is 25. So what that tells us is that K is the same for the upper and the lower part of this interval. So what we need to do now is calculate K. So K is going to be X where this is the upper value of the interval minus the mean mu divided by theta. For those of you who want to know how to get that, x is equal to mu plus k times theta. So first you got to move mu over. So it's going to be x minus mu. That equals k times theta. And then dividing by theta, you get that k for the upper bound part of the interval is x minus mu over theta. And for the lower bound, you'll get the same answer because these two numbers are the same. So let's calculate K. So X is 195 pounds, mu is 170 pounds, and the standard deviation is 10. So 195 minus 170, that's 25, and 25 divided by 10 is 2.5. So this tells us that we want to find the minimum percentage of individuals within 2.5 standard deviations of the mean. So now we need to use this formula, 1 minus 1 over k squared. So 1 minus 1 over 2.5 squared. Let me just plug this in. So I get 0.84 or 84%. So what does that mean? This means that at least 84% of individuals in the city will have a weight of or between 145 pounds and 195 pounds. So this is the minimum value. The actual answer could be 86%, it could be 89%, 95%, but at least we know the minimum percentage of individuals with a weight between 145 and 195 pounds. So now that we know how to use Chebyshev's theorem to solve a problem like this, let's move on to the second part of the problem. If the city contains 200,000 residents, what is the minimum amount of individuals with a weight between 140 and 200 pounds? So once again, the mean is right in the middle between these two numbers. If you were to average 140 and 200, you would get 170, which means the minimum and the maximum value 
is both 30 units away from the mean. So regardless if you were to use 140 or 200, your K value will be the same. So let's calculate K using this formula. So using the upper value of 200 pounds and a mean of 170 pounds and a standard deviation of 10, this is going to be 30 over 10, which is 3. So K is 3. So we need to determine the percentage, or rather the minimum percentage of individuals within three standard deviations of the mean. So now we could use this formula. And we know that this is going to give us 0.889. So thus we could say that at least 88.9% of individuals in city XYZ will have a weight between 140 and 200 pounds. But now, we don't want a minimum percentage. We want a number, a minimum amount of individuals. And we know the population of city XYZ. So we need to determine the value of 88.9% of 200,000. So to get that answer, we just got to multiply 0.889 times 200,000. So we could say that at least 177,800 individuals in this city have a weight between 140 pounds and 200 pounds. So if you want to write the answer in terms of a probability, the probability that X is between 140 and 200 is point. 889, or rather, we need to turn this into an inequality. It's greater than or equal to 0.889. But the actual number of residents that have a weight between these two values is at least 177,800. It could be more than that, but that's the, the minimum value. So that's it for this video. Hopefully, it gave you a good introduction into Chebyshev's theorem and how to use it to solve problems.